Hello everyone, I'm Trestor44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Avernum 3. Last episode we ended the plague of creatures up on the surface of Avernum and found evidence implicating Erica as being the one to be causing all of it. She was allowed to speak with us and we went to speak with her and she pretty much denied it, saying that, well, excuse me, you know what, I'll, tell, I'll talk about it when we end up fighting, because we're going to fight our way through this. Okay. See what I can do here. Good, no force cage. Anyway, she basically said, Why would I do that? It is a terribly... It is a terribly stupid... God damn it. She basically said, Why would I do it? It's a terribly stupid idea. I would want it's not proper vengeance as it only really goes against uh as it doesn't really go against anyone but oh god damn it God dang it all Okay, let's not go for that yet then. Anyway, she said she said it was a stupid idea because it's not proper vengeance. God damn it. All it really does is uh hurt the people more than the Empire itself. Not something she wants. She wants her vengeance on the Empire. Plus, of course, she's not so... God damn it. She's not so idiotic as to leave a big, massive... note that basically says, It was me. So, it likely wasn't her. Unless, of course, she's bluffing. Huh, I wonder. Ah, uh, she doesn't help me yet. Okay. So, unless she's lying about that and is pulling a double bluff, it might not be her. Even though she has, more or less, every reason to do it. Alright. Let's head to the Tower of Magi. Over here, down here... Ahem. Can we use the portal, Salus? She checks her journal. It says here that you are authorized to go down below and receive magical instruction. Go ahead and use the portal when you want, but please don't overuse your privileges. Alright, step into the portal. You start to walk into the portal. You feel resistance as you approach. Waves of heat and force try to throw you back. You push harder, moving slowly and carefully into the glowing pillar of energy. Soon everything goes black. Then yellow. Then orange. Then green. Then colors you don't have words for. Then you find yourself elsewhere. Dear God, it's gone to plaid. New arrivals, follow walkway out to barracks. Do not step off. I'm stepping off the pathway! I'm stepping off the pathway! Okay. Main laboratory surface portal. To the west is the towering fiery portal that carries hundreds of people every day up to the surface and back down to Avernum. The energy in the room is palpable. You're amazed that the wizards here are able to keep it under control. To the east, through curving shielded passages, is the Tower of Magi. There, reality becomes more and more warped every day. There is a clearly marked walkway which directs people from the barracks to the portal without letting them wander near any potentially dangerous experiments. This corridor is here to provide the rest of the Tower of Magi insulation from the intense energy of the portal. Its power makes every hair on your body stand straight out and you feel quite queasy. Nobody spends time in here if they can avoid it. Oh, well, there's a couple people here. You meet a small woman with dark skin and long black hair. She wears the robes of a member of the Triad, and she has tiny runes tattooed on her forearms and the backs of her hands. She bows slightly at the waist. I am a Davi of the Triad. What is your job here? I am of the Triad. Being a member of the Triad in the Tower of Magi is a post of no small responsibility. What is the Tower of Magi? This is the Tower of Learning, the center of magical studies and knowledge in Avernum. Unfortunately, because of the portal, we have also become something of a way station. What are your current responsibilities? Lately, my efforts have been spent on the operation and maintenance of the portal. It is a tedious job, and I was only picked for it because of my experience with the Empire Teleporter. How are you involved with the Empire Teleporter? She smiles wryly. During the Empire War, our foe's greatest weakness was its trouble sending troops down here. They made a massive portal to teleport hordes of soldiers here. I directed an effort to destroy it. For this, I was thought an expert on these things, and so I was stuck with maintaining the portal here. 
How does the portal work? The portal here was built several years ago. It was only two years ago that we were able to boost its power sufficiently to send someone near the surface. Our long-desired route to the surface was attained. Unfortunately, it has meant that everybody sent up has had to pass through here. <sighs> Tedious, but necessary. Slows down our research greatly, though. What sort of research was done here? Many magical creations, plants and animals and such, were necessary to allow life in Avernum to continue. The glowing lichen on the ceiling of the caves, for example, was created through magical research in this tower. Hmm. What would you be doing if you weren't stuck with this job? I would be studying the Venati and their magic, a rich and valuable topic. <sighs> oh well, I would have real trouble studying anyway. I was going to compare notes with Erica. She has learned a lot about them. I would give a lot if someone could tell me what Erica has learned about the Venati. Well, let's see if we can talk with her. And you directed the, the effort to destroy the Empire Portal? Yes. I personally located a group of adventurers, provided them with guidance, and directed them in their brave efforts to destroy the portal. They endured great risk, of course, but I had to invest a good deal of time in the effort. What happened to those adventurers? They are currently in Avernum, helping to direct and supply your efforts on the surface and working to destroy isolated pockets of Empire and solicit Eric High resistance in our lands below. They're quite revered. True heroes. I do wonder what they're each doing. Are they still working together, or have they moved on to do individual things? What is the Triad, exactly? The Triad is traditionally composed of the three most skilled mages in Avernum. We reside in the Tower and coordinate the magical efforts here. The Triad now consists of me, Solberg, and another. This system usually works well. Sometimes, however, there are irregularities. Who is Solberg? A good friend, and one who has suffered much for Avernum. He usually studies in his quarters to the south. What's the name of the third member of the Triad? He calls himself X. I don't understand him. Nobody does. He's skulking around somewhere. What sort of irregularities? She looks uncomfortable. Linda the Archmage was in the Triad once. She performed a rather unfortunate experiment with Demonkind, and we had to banish her from the Tower. Only lately have we allowed her to return, as we need her considerable skill. She seems to have learned her lesson. If you say so. Okay. There is a business-like official standing at the entrance to the portal, notepad in hand. As people filter by, walking to and from the portal, he checks him off. You ask his name. I'm Vidrain. Are you in charge of the portal? In a matter of speaking, I'm very busy. I've received information on you. Why are you so busy? We're forcing as many people through here as possible. Everyone needs to be identified and checked off. Our staff is too small. What do you need a larger staff for? What do you think? For thousands of people going through, each of which needs to be checked. Of course we need more help. As soon as I hire someone, he or she slips through the portal. Everyone wants to go to the surface. People go to the surface without permission? Of course. And we can't send them back down. The portal's power is too limited. We can't spend it just to punish some reprobates. Okay. Do you have business with the portal? What information do you have on us? You've been sent here for training. I can tell you where the instructors are. Ah, good. Where are our instructors? The spells you are to receive will be taught to you by Exo Solberg of the Triad. Not aware of their exact locations, but poke around. I'm sure they'll turn up. Solberg has been spending a lot of time in his quarters lately, and X likes to poke around in the libraries. Okay, thank you. Main laboratories. Portal to parties. Stay on walkway. Bug storage. At all. <sighs> Strange that they had those there. This room is filled floor to ceiling with webs. Peculiar, but you have a hard time finding anything that happens in this place to be unusual. Some mage must have wanted a constant supply of spider silk. Uh oh. This spider stares at you with big beady eyes. At first you aren't sure what it's going to do. Then it says in a friendly, high-pitched voice, Hi there! My name is Spider! It starts to bounce up and down happily. I'm glad you're here! Why are you here? I'm here because the Nido wizards wanted to study me! You're cute! Uh, thanks. You're cute, too. Really? You're nice! Wanna go eat bugs? Uh, no thanks. We just ate. Bugs are yummy, and the wizards keep a bunch around for me. Wanna go eat some? You politely decline. It looks sad for a moment. Oh wait, so those bugs were... Oh. Oops. 
You're still talking to me? Hooray! Do you like the wizards? The wizards are really, really powerful. They can kill a thousand flies with a single wave of their hand. Cool, huh? It gives a single emphatic hop of approval. How have they, uh, studied you? They say I'm a giant, intelligent, friendly talking spider and a neat freak of nature or something. They say they should study us before we all disappear. I think they also like my silk. Why are the intelligent spiders disappearing? There aren't many of us in these icky caves anymore. Most of us went to the surface where the bugs are tastier. How are they getting to the surface? We snuck there in secret tunnels known only to we spiders. It scuttles back and forth to illustrate the sneaking part. The spiders are up there now, living a happy, yummy life. If you see them, say hi! Can you tell us where these secret spider tunnels are? They're secrets, silly! It thinks it over and looks at you carefully. You're cute! Okay, the wizards want your silk? Yeah, they, say they use it to make magic things, or do experiments, or something. Since they give me lots of yummy flies, though, I don't mind. The wizards are nice! Okay, bye, eh, friend, giant, intelligent, friendly, talking spider. Bye! <laughs> Great, so they're all on the surface. This is where people are billeted while waiting for their turn to use the surface portal. The quarters are quite cramped and uncomfortable. The Tower of Magi seems unconcerned with providing creature comforts for outsiders. Okay, then. This is a rough dining hall. People wanting to use the portal can eat here. The room is cramped and dirty and a pot of stew is burning on the fire. The Tower of Magi was not meant to host large numbers of people, but they are making do as best they can. Oh, fair enough. This corridor has been recently walled off. Okay then. And here is the tower itself. This is the exit from the Tower of Magi. You stare longing longingly at the passage that leads out to Avernum, but then you turn back. Your business is back up on the surface. Okay, then. Well, let's do exploration. I think this area is fairly self-contained, so let's go in here. Alchemy and stuff. <laughs> and stuff. The man sitting behind the counter is, busy, is busily chopping pungent and pe peculiar herbs into small pieces. Shelves behind him sag beneath a variety of multicolored solutions with strange esoteric purposes. I am Vincent. Welcome to my shop. What sort of shop is this? I make a variety of powerful potions which are available for purchase. The tower is an excellent place for this sort of business. Why do you make potions? Potions are the most convenient of the item magics. Great strength, great portability, and they taste great. Who could ask for more? I don't know. Sure, the healing potions have a nice strawberry flavor to them, but I gotta say, those curing potions, they taste like foot. Slith foot, specifically. D don't ask how I know that. I I just don't. Why is this an excellent business? I have sold potions to the finest mages in Avernum. Solberg, X, Patrick, and... well, others. What did you think of Solberg, X, and Patrick? Fine mages all. Simple enough. Others like who? He looks around to make sure nobody else is nearby. I can't tell anybody here, but listen. Linda has been buying a lot of weird herbs. They're used for other things, true, but the herbs she's been buying are mainly used for summoning. It's suspicious. I stay out of tower business, but you guys have enough of a name that I thought you should know. Anything else you want to tell us? Hmm. Maybe you should talk to Kianan. She's more worried about things than I am, and I'm not the one who said that. Okay. And all sorts of potions, including knowledge, brews, and bombs of life. Nice. There's a large woman with very short hair behind the counter. She wipes a hand clean and extends it to you. I'm generally called Bridget. What are you working on? I am an experimenter in the alchemical arts. Do you do much experimenting? Magical training and experimentation are the main business of the Tower of Magi. I wonder any of us are still alive. Is the tower in danger currently? Not that I know of. The tower has seen its share of turmoil over the years. Sometimes dark powers have paid visits. <laughs> what dark powers? She looks annoyed. You should know that certain things are not asked of lightly. Uh, hopefully nothing bad will befall anyone. 
Apprentices learning spells, wizards trying new concoctions, mages tinkering with fire and ice and acid and poison and dark powers. So you wonder nothing has blown us up yet. Ah, you do to alchemy. Do you make potions? I don't make potions anymore. That's Vincent's business. What I do do is try to come up with new recipes. For example, I can teach you how to make a healing salve from gray mold, or how to make the bomb used when raising one from the dead. And along more utilitarian lines, I know how to make a wonderful healing elixir. Might you be interested in purchasing these fine recipes? Useful, but we'll save off on it until we really need it. For now. Any interest? Bridget spends the time talking with you, trying to wipe her hands clean with a damp rag. She was grinding something with a mortar and pestle when you came in, and her fingers have the permanent brownish stains that are the mark of a true alchemist. Any interesting events in the tower recently? Merely the tromping through of every soldier, peasant, and wanderer within a hundred miles, each begging to be allowed to stay here and use the surface tele teleporter. Only that. So, n nothing too special. Okay. Around this way. Menlo, a sage. Hmm. Okay. The crone behind the counter is so aged and brittle that you're surprised none of her bits are falling off. Welcome to my shop. I am in, though. What is it you do here? Child, I have forgotten more about magic than you will ever learn. My knowledge extends from the bottom of the sea into the highest star. And I'll share it with you if you ask nicely. That seems likely, ma'am. Learning is my life's work. Why else would I be here? What can you teach us? She looks you over and thinks. You are the surf's adventurers. I know of you, and I know of things which can which will help you. I will tell you of Erica for two hundred coins and dragons for four hundred. Also, I can lower myself to identifying your items if need be. Finally, for a scant twenty-five gold, I can give a friendly warning. We're important adventurers. Couldn't you help us for free? No, a professional sage never ever works for free. Save your pennies in return when you don't need to waste my scant remaining time. Well, we'll take the friendly warning at least. Certain metals give off deadly magics which cause those nearby to become ill. Certain magic items can do this as well. If you find yourself becoming ill for no reason, look for your inventory. We'll ask about Erica's activities and actually, I have a better idea. I'll save, ask her, and then spend the coin and then reload the save. Alright then, now for the cheap way. What do you know about Erica's activities? Erica is the boon and bane of Avernum. Without her skills and leadership years ago, we Avonites would be starving and miserable or dead. Without her hatred of the Empire, the Empire War would not have happened. Her tower is in Upper Avernum. We are curious about the dragons. You pay her. There were three dragons in Avernum, Atheron, Selfris, and Koth. They went up to the surface suddenly some years ago. I know not why. I only know one thing. They all hated the Empire with a passion. Hmm. Okay, reloaded so I didn't have to spay that spend that money. So the knowledge of, so the information about uh hold on. Remembrance Park. Hmm. In memory of Silverio, mighty wizard, lost in the Empire War. In memory of Patrick and his many years of service to Avernum. Rest in peace. Indeed, requisite and possum. And Temple of the Seeking Soul. The thing, the tithing box has suggested donation five coins carved in the front. You see a few coins scattered inside. Eh, toss in a few coins. You place a few coins in th into the chest. You feel very responsible. Just standing near this altar gives you a strong sense of calm and well-being. Pray? Sure. The altar glows and bathes you in a warm light. Your donation in your life of questing is rewarded at, in the form of greater knowledge. Your mind opens up and you see things much more clearly now. Hmm. I wonder what that did. This woman is of utterly nondescript appearance. Average height, average looks, dull hair. However, her robes are an immaculate white, even paler than her face, and her face radiates peace and strength. Welcome, children. I am Mother Clarice. Are you in charge of this temple? I am a high priestess of the Church of the Seeking Soul. I spend my time learning and teaching, and when it cannot be avoided, wandering. What is it like to be the, priest the High Priestess at the Tower? It is the greatest honor ever afforded to me. What are the teachings of this church? We are dedicated to the liberation of learning. Why do we not suffer the tyranny of the strong? 
Why do we not live exclusively in hovels, prey to giant lizards and disease? Because of learning. We of this church accumulate and further knowledge in all forms. Knowledge is not wisdom, but it does lead to it. I can approve it. I can approve of that. Learning what? Everything. My main responsibility in the Church of the Seeking Soul is to never stop learning and never stop exploring. It is a great burden. Sometimes I wish to stop and say enough is enough. Fortunately, the joy of teaching keeps me going. Will you teach anyone? Others hoard their magical skills. We delight in sharing them. Alas, we must request a fee to support our archival efforts. Are you interested in spells? I take it that you don't care for wandering. Before I came here, I did service in the Empire War, healing and even fighting. It provided an education, but one I would have been happier without. Mother Clar Clarice smires beatifically. Okay. What, el what else do you wish in this place of peace before you return to your trials? Do you heal visitors to your shrine? Yes, I can. Are any difficulties ailing you? No. Will you teach us any spells? Let's see here. What do we want to improve? Mass healing. Mass curing. What else? Smite improve. Repel spirit improve. I may use smite on occasion. Unshackle mind. More blessing can be improved. Let's see. Safe travel. And mass healing again. I think that's fine. Yeah. Excellent. So much that has been done. Alright. Now we'll look to the west here. Looks like this is a kitchen for... Yeah. Let's see. Hmm. This is one of the apprentices of the Tower of Magi. Apprentices here are forbidden to speak during the first year of their training. Thus, your conversation is extremely brief. You eagerly flip through this tome looking for useful information. You're disappointed. It is full of magical instruction, but it's all basic apprentice-level stuff. Nothing that would be useful in a serious, real-world dungeon environment. Is it the same thing with all of them? Oh! Uh, in the back of the book, you find a note. It says simply, It is happening again. Linda, the demons. Remember what happened last time to those who asked questions. We must proceed with care. S. That's concerning. Regular Apprentice, and... Regular Apprentice. Research tomes. We were actually told to keep our eyes open for these. For one of these quests. This is a research journal containing esoteric notes regarding a variety of magical topics. It doesn't contain any spells or other information useful to you, but look, books like this can be valuable to alchemists or wizards. Uh, it was Walner in the Portal Fortress. Yes, this is something we can do for him. Healing Potion and Mushroom Merlot. Regular Robe. Nothing in that one. And a Regular Robe. Okay then. Moving on. These look like the classrooms, with another research tome. Mine. And here. Ah, someone in here. You meet a tiny young mage in tidy robes. Her hair is neatly combed and a small wand hangs in her belt. You introduce yourself. I'm Kianan. Pleased to meet you. Do you work for the tower? Oh yes. I am a teacher at the magic school. What sort of school is this? The Tower of Magi is where all of Avernum's most promising mages receive their schooling. It's a demanding process. What specific area do you teach? I instruct the students in the school in the art of casting projectile spells. What kind of projectile spells? <laughs> you don't know fear until you've been near someone casting his first bolt of fire. Yeah, I can imagine. What is the wand for? She looks down at it. You never know when you'll need a little defense. Has there been much of a need for defense? Uh, oh, there's never any threat, really. Just playing it safe. Nothing unusual. Nope. Are you sure? You're sure nothing is wrong? 
She seems to debate whether to whether or not to tell you more. Finally, she says, I shouldn't tell you directly, but there is something you should know. Yes? Once the Archmage Linda worked here, she summoned a demon and the Tower of Magi was almost destroyed. Now she has returned and I feel that her work continues. Are you sure? No, and you didn't hear from me, but be wary, and now I have said enough. She walks away quickly. Well, goody. This is the laboratory where student mages first learn how to disrupt the delicate laws of nature. Mistakes are, of course, inevitable, which explains the thick layer of lead on the walls and the pervasive smell of burned meat. Lovely. This woman wears the robes of a student mage. However, she completely lacks the scraping, servile manner of an apprentice. In fact, she looks downright combative. I'm Carrie, the apprentice. How goes your apprenticeship? Well, I just completed my silence period, and I'm beginning my preparatory training. That means I'll learn something useful in, say, 50 years or so. What is a silence period? All apprentice majors here spend a year in magically forced silence. It's supposed to, uh, force us to focus our inner mind, or free us to learn without the weight of response. It's pure crap, of course. They just like to see us squirm. What is this preparatory training? Now I can actually talk. That means a full year of grinding herbs from the masters while they pretend to teach us something useful. We don't actually learn any s we don't learn any actual spells for two full years. I tell you, if it wasn't for Bernard, I'd die of boredom. Two years does seem like a long time not to be taught spells. <sighs> well, it's more like three years before we learn even a spell of the first circle, but the silence period makes it seem like much, much more. Believe me. Who's Bernard? She looks upset that she let it slip, but then decides that you aren't a threat. He's still in his silence period, but believe me, he can communicate more without words than most can with a year of talking. Of course, if I hadn't just spent a year being completely quiet, I wouldn't think you were worth telling any of this. No offense. Are you sure you want to keep wasting time for me? I'm an apprentice. You seem angry. I'm an apprentice. That means my life is one long routine of drudgery and degradation. On top of that, I lost my lab notes. What happened to them? I was mucking out the monster bins at the east end of the tower, and one of the creatures grabbed my lab notes. I couldn't get them back. I'm not allowed to kill the things. Of course, if someone else got them for me, it would be great. It was a white that grabbed them, just so you know. She looks at you hopefully. A white. Sure, we'll keep that in mind. Let's see. No one in here. Okay, there is someone in here. This mage wears a sash of office. She must be an official of some sort. He must not be working now. He's just wandering aimlessly through the tower. When he sees you, he says, Oh, Adventures! I'm Administrator Conrack. You probably want Vidrain. So what does an administrator do? Oh, there's no need to make conversation on my behalf. I'm powerless to do anything to stop you. Surely you have some responsibilities. Vidrain and the Triad control everything important in the tower between them, and I, the Administrator, am stuffed with making sure the trash gets taken out. We're not making conversation. Don't feel any need to be nice. Nobody needs to talk to me anymore. I just sat for hours waiting in that awful council room and nobody came. So now I walk around. It's only mildly awful this way. What council room? Let's make a room in the Venati style, they said. Ha! <laughs> Those chairs are as uncomfortable as hell. Lovely. What do you know of the triad? The ever so mysterious and aloof triad... They consider me completely beneath them. I didn't want to bring Linda back, but they didn't listen to one word I said. Why didn't you want to bring Linda back? We wish the return of Linda, they said. Oh, swell. She only summoned a demon lord into the tower at once. She's only mildly insane. What a beautiful idea. Let's proceed at once, I said. We appreciate your acquiescence, they said. And that was that. Sarcasm is lost on that lot. You're right to be worried. I suspect Linda is attempting to resume her work. Mm, you should talk to the other Triad members. I doubt they will do anything, but it's all we can do. Other than wait for the end. Conrack looks a bit nervous. I'm just the administrator. You probably want Vidrain. He's upstairs, just outside the portal chamber. Who is Vidrain? He's in charge of the portal, and thus the day-to-day -day operations of the tower. The Triad controls all the magical stuff, which leaves me powerless. You work in the tower? Can you give us magical training? <laughs> I 
I'm not allowed. Administrators aren't allowed to teach. And I used to be good at it, too. Is there anyone here who can train us? Mm, not really. Sober Gadex can give you spells when you've done impressive things on the surface. As for regular training, probably not here. You'll have to look somewhere else. Okay. Well, fortune. Hold on. Let's look at this book. The book is a journal on various combat spells and their effects. One section is quite interesting. One of the most powerful and dangerous effects created recently by Empire researchers is the Force Cage. This impregnable box of energy holds a foe perfectly separate from a battle, unable to help its victims. The victim can break out of the Force Cage. The stronger the target is, the stronger the effect's duration. In addition, certain magical crystals tend to spell the effect. Finally, and most interestingly, the spell Mass Curing can alleviate the effects of a Force Cage, although the caster needs to be well trained in the spell's use. I'm guessing it would need to be Mass Curing level 3. Nothing in there. Alright. Uh, I missed a spot that I think there's a hidden door. I'll just quickly run over there. Also, I'm going to have to end the episode here. Much as I hate this, this concealed room is simply the robing room for the temple. Most temples have one where the minister prepares mm -hmm. before beginning a service. Okay, simple enough. I, I, I really like that. I like finding little rooms that are completely useless except for something like that. I mean, it makes sense that this would be here. It's a hidden room so that the priest can change. We have no purpose for it. But it's nice to see it. Anyway, next episode, we'll look through the rest of the Tower of Magi. I really hate having to end early like this, but I don't know how much longer it's going to take. So, that'll be in the next episode. Till then, I'm Chester44, that is Carl, Nepal, Pollux, and Teresa. This has been an Avernum 3 Let's Play, and I shall see you all next time.